Hello everyone, and welcome to the Spanish Career Race. This is once again then a live commentator career race video. The last one was well received, so I thought let's do it again. And of course the last one was only a few days ago. I want to try and route through the season now, so we can at least finish season 2 before the release of F1 2013. So let's jump straight in then with Teammate Challenge. Kicking his ass once again. Of course I'm starting from the back of the grid, so he's out qualified, my, qualified me again. Race strategy, I'm going to start on primes again. Let's stick on cautious fuel. And let's have a look at the setup. I managed to set a setup this time. So 1-1 one, one wings. 47-53 high standard brakes. 11-11 balance. 1-1-11-11 one, one, 11 suspension. Full right uh, gearbox. That should hopefully help me when I got DRS. And still using my first engine. And hopefully I'll change that next time if I remember. And full left camber and full right toe. So let's go then. So as I said, starting from the back of the grid. I've done a little bit of practice this week. Only because there's an R&D objective. I should have 10% better tyre wear now hopefully. So that was only three laps I did. So not too bad. But yes, of course, starting with the back of the grid. little practice and, of course, live commentating. So the odds are still against me. But I've got the setup in my favour, so hopefully I can attack now. There's my championship rival then in P1, Lewis Hamilton. He's only a few points behind me now, I believe. So I need to try and outscore him or at least score some decent points if I can in this race. It would be very handy indeed. And, of course, the HRT is just ahead of me there. So I've got control now. I'm revving the engine there. Plus five laps then. So I'll be going to Rich as soon as I get started then. So four lights, five lights. Waiting quite a while and now they're out. So straight to it, which as I said, lots of wheel spin though. And Delarosa gets a fantastic start, pulls away from me there. So I'm going to use all my curse to try and get past him as there's a battle in there. I'm going to hopefully dive to the pit. There we go, like that. That was nicely timed, wasn't it? Just trying to say Glock slipstream then. Going to dive up his inside, hopefully. Whoa, a bit too late though, really. But no, I made the corner. It's pretty late on the others. Petrov's going quite wide there, but not. Whoa, what's he doing? He's not on the throw. Two Katrin's ahead. I'm going to stick to the inside. That's allowed me past a couple cars. Might allow him past a couple more coming to this next corner. Senna's going slowly, going to break late, but don't want to take anyone out or anything silly. As there's a train of cars all swerving, I'm going to dive up the outside. Schumacher comes across on me. And I totally go up his inside and get up his inside to the next corner, which it has worked. I'm up his inside and button breaks slowly. I just about managed to get the inside of him as well, leaving plenty of room in the exit, but he doesn't want it. P10 then, after a strong start. Maldonado just dead. He runs a bit wide. Oh, that was close there, but Maldonado ran wide. So he's going slow. I'm going to try to dive us inside the next corner. Breaking quite late. He squeezes me, but I can just about get it all slowed down. And that allows me the, the uh, position. So it's a P9 now then. Coming to the final set. Degrosion just ahead. I'd like to be nice and close to him to get a slipstream down the next straight. If I can, that would be beautiful. Coming to the final chicane now. Get a little bit closer to Grosjean, which is good. But not really that close. Going to stay on Rich. Hope I get a bit of slipstream off him. But Maldonado, I think, is closest to me. And I'm close to him. And I'm close to Grosjean. And indeed, eight tenths ahead and four tenths behind. He's gaining on me, but it shouldn't be close enough to overtake, which he's not going to be. Break in. Actually, a bit conservative for the first corner. Miss my apex still, though. Oh, I'm I can come right over to the left for a better racing line for this fast right-hander. Try and stay full throttle. Didn't quite manage another confidence, but I could have done. Oh, no, 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 it's gained on me from behind. But of course, they're all on prime. Uh, options, rather, I'm on primes. As he was very close behind then. Bit of cars in the exit of that corner to make sure he doesn't dive him inside. I have to do lots of trail breaking there to get it all slowed down for the apex so I can make the exit, but I still only just keep out of the gravel. It's Grosjean, as I said, ahead. Needs to try and close in on him if I can. Get a few more points. All over the curve on the exit. And that should cane. Oh, no, no, closed on me again, so... So once again, I've not got a great car. Oh, very nearly in the gravel. Looks like once again, I've not, great car. I've not got a great car at this race. And I've fallen back quite a way, actually, from going right ahead. I can't get a slow down for that apex. That's cost me time. 2.4 to the car ahead already. That's not good. It's almost went on the gravel, uh, grass rather there. Let's look at that. Look at the gap already. Hopefully it's not another race where I'm holding them up. And that's very boring when that happens. It's only tip apex as nicely, which I've done. Lots of curves left now, and intentionally to pull away nicely from Maldonado. Could do a DRS on the car ahead, but not sure that's really going to happen. Let's look at Weber now in P1, luckily. Out in the lead on the mini-map, quite way ahead. Going to go to standard now then, save a bit of fuel. Braking later, and not quite reaching my apex, but doing a better job on the last lap. So that's always good. I'm just going to use the throttle a little bit on the apex, but still didn't need to. So I'll try and keep it nailed next time. See if I can know this corner a bit better this time. Which still missed my apex, but got parallel a little bit better. That's 
2.7 to crush ahead. Now break too late for that corner. A bit of lockage you saw there. Locking at the front left. Didn't just under rotate. It didn't actually lock. So almost locked it, but eased off enough to stop it locking. All over the curbs and that chicane once again. It's not oh, Nardo. They're a lot better than me in that chicane. It's not going to be hard on the throttle now. Don't quite take it as wide as four, but the McLaren wear went incredibly wide. Just about managed to keep it out of the gravel. Do I get it slow down? No, a lot more wheel once again. Don't quite reach my apex there. I don't like this brake setup on the Force India. I prefer to have large discs, have better braking power, but they won't let me have it, unfortunately. Let's go on ahead there. Battling with another car. Hope that should slow him down, but he's going to get DRS, and I'm not. Oh, big corner cut there. Didn't mean to do that. By the time I turn it, it's too late. Still don't use any of my curves. Need to remember to use it. Keep forgetting. Go to Rich now as well, because I think Maldonado will probably get DRS. Mind you, tells him Maldonado will pit within the next three laps. House tyre wet, perfectly fine. He wants to give him stand up. Actually, close the gap to Grosjean ahead, 1.9. Hopefully, I can start to pull him in now. Fingers crossed. I'm going to try and keep this full throttle now all the way around here. Oh, just about scary when the outside's coming in on you because it slows you down a lot if you get out there. As once again, I missed my apex a little bit there. 2.3 again to Grosjean, so they're gaining loads on me in that first sector. Braked a bit too early for that corner now. A little bit overcautious after locking up a little bit last lap. See if I can nail this next chicane and not let Malnado gain quite so much on me. That was pretty much as good as it gets for me. And he's still gained on me, so... For sure my car just isn't good in there. As that wasn't a great corner, he's a bit of curves now. I've remembered half my curves. Let's see if I can get this time. Just about. I nearly locked the wheel. I had to ease off the brakes that time. 1.6 to go ahead, so it looks like they've been held up by someone, which is good for me. Red Bull, interestingly. And they're pretty close now. I wonder whether Red Bull's got a problem, because they're going quite slow. Hopefully I can get... Oh, I should be able to get DRS at this distance. Lots of curves as well, which is always helpful. So you almost actually run wide there in the dirty air. Here we go then. This is when hopefully I'm going to use a bit of curves once again. Hopefully my long gear ratios help me. And here we go. Yes, he's hit the rev limit. I haven't. And that's one dispatched off. Going to break him fairly early because I'm not sure how it will be with the extra speed. So that was one extra position then. Perez is the next car then. Oh, got on the grass. Didn't want to be doing that. But there we go. Up to P8 now. So a couple more points for me. Which is always good. That's a break quite late there. But managed to still just about bring it in. Just six tenths to Perez ahead now then. So it's going to break a bit late. But wasn't the end of the world. Lots of trail breaking once again. Desperately trying to slow the car down. That's, oh, just that chicane. Even when I nail it, I'm just slow. And a fast right hand up. Oh, Grosjean went very wide there. Bit of curves once again to hopefully stay within the DRS zone. Prayers ahead, which I'm just outside of right now. Just about get it slowed down again. A bit wide. Hopefully I can pull him in again like I did last lap in this final sector. They're not as slow as they were. I don't know why they were so slow last lap. So I've run wide there. That's not going to help for sure. And I might not even have DRS, you know. Bit of bummer if I haven't. Going to Rich now, though, just to try and stay within his slipstream, even if I don't get DRS. And I've got DRS. That's helpful. Whoever does the fastest lap. Look how far ahead he is in front. I don't think I'm going to win this race because of that. I'm going to grab him now, then. Break a bit later. Oh, a bit too late, maybe. Slight lock my inside wheel there. Let's look at that. Just pulling away from me. He must stay full throttle all the way around there. He's got more downforce than me, that's for sure. So hopefully I can stay a bit close to him this time. And hopefully get the move done next lap. That would be rather nice. Two with two to Grosjean behind now, so that mistake was costly for him. And once again, break a bit late. Lots of trail baking. Get on the power very early, though. And it was this corner and next corner that I lost all the time, really, to Perez last lap. So let's hope I can't do it, but I've no, I've completely missed my apex. Low. Probably already over a second. That was a terrible corner. But if I can nail this next one, just about managed to keep it on the tarmac. And he's still over a second, so he still lost the same amount of time to me. No, rock my inside wheel again. Need to break a little bit early for that corner next time. Might not be able to get DRS now then. We'll see, but he's getting held up by the red ball ahead. Which is helping for sure. turning in pretty early there. 
As people are starting to pit, I'll pit next lap because I'll get DRS in the sky now, hopefully overtake him. Oh, and of course he'll get DRS as well, which isn't going to help. He's a bit of curs. He's lots of curs. I'm going to use all my curs. No, I'm not going to stop now, of course. Come on, let's have you. Break it late. And managed to get him up the inside. Needed to do that so he doesn't hold me up in the pits, hopefully. P4 now, Hamilton just ahead. I say just ahead, a few seconds ahead. People are pitted, of course, so I'm going to be pitting this lap. As with last race, Tyre's not too high, I don't believe. I will double check. No, Tyre's fine. Could have been pitted that lap. But I uh, was a bit late by the time I realised. Of course, I wanted a DRS on that guy behind. Now, Perez. Coming into the chicane now. A bit better than last lap, but still wasn't great. As uh, run wide, but Perez doesn't, unfortunately. That could have been handy if he ran wide there and lost time. Let's see if I can manage to actually make the corner of this now. now. And I've done it nicely, actually cut the corner. Need to be careful, Perez has made a mistake, I think. He's lost a bit of time. Five seconds to Hamilton. I'm going to do well to outscore him, I think, in this race. But luckily, he's not going to win it. He's started on pole, of course. Could well have won it. It's looking like he's not going to now. Oh, I've got, still got some curves left. That's not great. He's in towards the pit lane, which wasn't ideal. Hopefully Perez has got a big enough gap now. Tyres option. And here we go. See if you guys pitting ahead. Hopefully I hold Hamilton up, which I do nicely. And Perez does. Look at that. He's been held up beautifully by lots of cars. I expect he's probably out now, but that was lovely. As three, come on. 4.3 second stop, so not bad. Where's Hamilton? Is Hamilton ahead? Hope it is. No, it's Rosberg. Good see. Use a bit of curls next to make sure there's no one coming down the pit, which they are, but they're too far back. Go to standard now. No idea where to break for this pit exit, but there it was. So I've got options now to P5 after I've pitted, so certainly gained a few in the pits. And I've definitely got more grip now with these option tyres, so hopefully I can start to make headway on the guys ahead. And at least outscore Hamilton. But I think the win is out the window, rather. I think we'll have a look at him on the minimap miles ahead. Unless he makes a big mistake, that's not going to happen. But he's concentrating now on gaining on Rosberg ahead. Hopefully get DRS this next lap. If I can, that would be beautiful. Feels better through that chicane already. And let's see how it feels for this corner. Mm, similar, but... See, tyres aren't quite warmed up yet. 1.1 only to Rosberg, really. Kind of gained time in there in the first couple of sectors. Through the final set now, I should hopefully be closer to him so that I can get DRS. And yes, should be able to get DRS as long as I can nail his final chicane, which I've done nicely over the curb. That should be easy meat. There we go, a bit of slipstream, but he actually comes up very fast. And there we go, move done. Might as well go to standard now, I'm not going anywhere else. So that's P4 now, then I'm up to. And that is my championship rival just ahead there, Lewis Hamilton. He is the next car to get. That would be beautiful to overtake him. So that I can get a bigger lead in the championship. Plus two of fuel, so we've got plenty of fuel left. Bit of lock of the inside wheel there, but it didn't really cost me anything. So just about managed to keep off the grass there. 1.2 to Hamilton ahead, so hopefully I can cruise him down. I break very late. I had to ease off there to not lock my tyres. I had to turn in a bit earlier than normal. He continues to break, lots of trail braking, ease off a lot. That's now coming to the chicane. Oh, a bit of oversteer there, mid corner, didn't help. Hamilton will for sure have better downforce in this corner. Bit of curves now to get me a bit closer to him. Breaking very late, but still managing to make it once again, cutting the corner. Need to be careful of that. Vosper's currently got DRS, hopefully I can get away from him and get close to Hamilton. I'm certainly closing him down, aren't I? So hopefully I can get DRS on him. I'm currently P4, so it would be for a podium position this place. Uh, so a bit of oversteer on the exit there. But I've got Kurz, hopefully he hasn't, and I'm going to Rich, and I'll get DRS, which I don't think he will. DRS now. Kurz now, going to use 200 Kurz, I think. Bit of fast slap, actually. Go to standard now. Going to go up his inside then, going to be breaking very late. Which I managed to do, and I get the move done. Nicely, so up to P3 then. Also set a fastest lap on the way to it, so that's always good. 
Now pushing to try and catch Alonso ahead. P2 is in my sights. P1 is still well out of reach, but P2 certainly possible. So fastest lap that bodes well for my pace. I'm going to do a purple first sector as well. So Hamilton already falling back then, which is good to see. Once again, cut the corner there. Lucky it doesn't give you any warnings for that or penalties. Uh, so I'm going to follow there. Bit of curves on the exit. Can use lots of curves on the exit. I want DRS. DRS, of course, is effectively free. If you get it, you get to use it. You don't actually use DRS every lap. You can't use it up like you do with your curves. You get a limited allowance if you're allowed it. So makes sense to try and get within that zone. But it's going to be a push. Hamilton might even get it on me. Don't think I'll quite get it. I've run wide and locked my tyre, which pretty much guarantees I won't get it. Lots of oversteer. That pushes me right out wide. Hamilton will definitely get DRS now and probably easily overtake me. And there he goes. I'm not going to bother fighting it. But I will grab a bit of slipstream, a bit of curves to allow me to keep in the slipstream. And still plus two of fuel. Come on, stop messing about, Hamilton. What are you doing? Good track on his outside here then. He's allowed me through and he's backed out of it. So that was because he tried to defend against me and was slow. So, got to try and catch Alonso back up then. But I'm going to, I think after this lap, I'll go to full, uh, rich mixture rather. The 2.8 as it stands to Alonso ahead. And power very early there. Hopefully I can get away from Hamilton to stop him getting DRS. And like I said, just got to catch Alonso now. Already doing what I need to. Oh, nearly. Nearly, nearly. And it tries. Only 0.4 to Hamilton, so it's looking unlikely. We better get him out of DRS zone, isn't it? Three seconds now to Alonso, so he's actually pulling out a gap. And he seems to be faster than me now for some reason. Not sure why I was faster initially, and now I'm not. But there we go. Into the final chicane. I need to nail this. Not like I did last lap. Hit the curbs, got a bit of oversteer once again, but didn't push me quite so wide. I think I might just about save the DRS on him. Hopefully he won't get it, even if he does, he's probably too far back. 1.1, so yes, I believe I saved the DRS just about on him. Just plus two of fuel, tyres aren't too bad. And actually, it sounds like he might have got it by the scream of his engine on the curb. Don't want to be doing that, but I'm now going to go to Rich for this whole next couple of laps. To try and close the gap down on Alonso. And just hope, oh, nearly ran out wide there. Which fuel does make a big difference. So 2.5 now then to Alonso. Uh, so I have to blend off the throttle there, you heard. To avoid going on the grass. So definitely, I think Amazon's got the pace on me again now, so. Very strange how I was faster, and now I'm not. Even though now I'm on Rich, so we'll see if I can just about pull out the gap to him. As right out wide there once again, very nearly getting the gravel. Using a bit of curse now, then Tauten pull away from him. Breaking very late, maybe too late, but no, just about managed to do it. So I was actually, you think, makes a mistake there. Three seconds to Alonso ahead now, so he's once again managed to pull the gap out to me. I think this fight's probably over, but I'm not going to give up just yet. Still on Rich, still been pushing hard. I certainly gain a lot in this final set, don't I, which is helpful because that's when you get DRS. Definitely managed to avoid Hamilton getting DRS this lap. And what's the gap now? 2.4 is about the same. And Hamilton's two seconds now, so he's fallen back. But Alonso would like to get to have another three points for the championship, but we'll see about that. As I run a bit wide there. Everything still say full throw all the way around this corner, though. Gonna try it. Just about managed to do it. Get one tyre on the outside. Just about managed to keep at least one tyre on the track, otherwise I would have been in trouble. 2.5 still a little ones ahead. Power very early once again. Pushing hard now, bit of curse here, why not? Getting that, that should be much more consistently now, but not necessarily quickly. The guys around me are probably still quicker. Hopefully I've managed to close a little bit on Lonzo. It was three seconds, I believe, at this sector last lap. It's now only 2.7, but I think I've braked late. I have indeed very, very late. No, that's just cost me more time I've just gained and more. And now Hamilton is possibly going to get DRS on me. 
So that was a big fail by me. Just I'll start to close in on Alonso. I make a mistake. Hopefully, oh, he might get DRS though. It's going to be close. I think he will, just about. Let's see what the gap's going to be as we cross this line. 0.2, maybe he didn't. Not too short. Perhaps he didn't, I don't really know. My sound of engine sounds like he did again, but might just be his engine screaming in 7th gear. As I have to yeah, ease the throttle a little bit there. I didn't get quite a good a line as I wanted to. And end of the first set now then. Actually, up my previous, so that's good. Less than a second to Hamilton behind. Three seconds to Alonso now, so going to optimal fuel, but we we'll stay on which for one more lap to hopefully try and get a fastest lap. Very nearly there. Out into the gravel. Going to chicane now. Didn't quite nail it, but not bad. He's going to throw a lot on entry to get it on, on the exit like I just did. Hamilton closing in on me. I think I break too late again. No, once again, he's off the throttle there. Avoided the lockup. Whoa, that sent me off last time. Lots of oversteer there. On the exit. 3.4, 1.6, 0.6 to Hamilton there behind now. I need to nail these last couple of corners to hopefully get him out of my DRS zone. Don't know if he's going to get it. It's going to be close. Apparently he's running on Rich now. As, no, still six tenths of my best, so... These tyres, yeah, they must be a bit dead now. Having to go to standard now. Pretty sure we got DRS there once again, too far back he was. This is a better racing line now into his next corner. Easily round it full throttle. Hamilton's a lot closer behind now, having to go to a standard there, as I mentioned. Because I'm not to fuel. Tenth down. On my previous. And Hamilton's just 0.3 now behind me. It's going to be very tricky into this race. He could well get past me. It's him. He's my championship rival. It's him that I need to beat. It's him that I need to outscore. Oh, he's still close behind me, though. I might should pull, back, pull the gap out just yet. As I get all over the curb there. Oh, he runs wide there. That cost him a lot of time. I use curves as well to compound his problems. Oh, break very late once again there. Get to defend to Rosberg behind, so that might have allowed me to get out of his DRS zone. Even with standard fuel. Comes the last couple of corners now, then. So I need to make sure I nail these so he doesn't get DRS, which I think I've done rather nicely. And yes, no chance of DRS. Sorry, Hamilton. Oh, lap 16, what we're coming to then. There we go, lap 16 of 17. So only two more laps to go, including this one now. Pretty late first corner I could do with keeping Hamilton out of my DRS zone. This next lap will be the final DRS zone of the race. This next zone that's going to be coming at the end of this lap. So I could do with keeping him at arm's length. That's now carrying on the fast right hander. 1.2 to Hamilton, so he's certainly gained a lot of me there. First sector, that's okay. I know he doesn't have a great final sector. Bit of oversteer there, but didn't correct it. Used understeer to correct it instead. Starting to get some oversteer now, you can see constantly, really. These tyres are starting to get a little bit worn, but of course I had the advantage in the first couple of laps with these tyres. Hamilton's definitely been inside a second of me now. Breaking a little bit early in that lap to try and get all slowed down nicely, which I do. Cut the corner a little bit by an accident. And hopefully I can get out of Hamilton's DRS zone. Certainly pushing hard to make it a reality. Probably around a second behind me now, so if I can nail these last couple of corners, he should be outside of a second. That would be beautiful. Should hopefully be outside my DRS zone, but we'll see. We're going to go to Rich now. As well as a fast lap, 23-2, so just slightly faster than me, half a tenth. And Hamilton hopefully didn't get DRS. So to this now, I'm going to stay to Rich for as long as I can to keep Hamilton at bay. Last couple of corners now then. This is fast, long right hander. Managed to keep full throttle just about. Uh, curves rather. That's 
0.8 Hamilton, so it's four seconds from Hamilton. He's in a bit of traffic ahead by the looks of it. So could he done with not losing that time that I lost? Because I might have been able to get him. Which one's Alonso? Is he, is he ahead? Or is he behind? No, he's ahead of them. Unfortunately, that's two Marouches ahead by the looks of it. Minus one now, so he's to go to standard. Bit of curves on the exit. Save 200 for the run to the line. Going to go to lean just to make sure I can get to the end. Marouches are battling it. Hopefully they get out of the way, which they don't at all. Get out of the way, Glock. 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 Generally, the AI gets held up more than me, and there we go. As he'll back off there, and then he'll go for it again. They tend to only back off on the little straight, so if he gets to the corner, they'll go for it again. But anyway, that should allow me comfortably to the line. And there we go. Cross the line just about now. And that is third place for me, so a podium then. That was well earned in the end. Dresta, 17th again. He keeps having terrible races. I don't know what happens. Whether he keeps getting caught in incidents, not too sure. But there it is then, confirmation. So I was 13 oh, seconds back from Weber in the end. And uh, what's that? About four seconds back from Alonso still, so we didn't really lose any time, unfortunately, with the back markers. If he lost a few seconds, I might have been able to nip him as we come to the line, but unfortunately, it wasn't possible. So... 15 points then, 3 points more than Hamilton, so that's always a good thing. And let's have a look, find my teammate down in 17th there. And let's have a look then, Drivers' Championship. And still first, apparently. 8 points ahead of Hamilton, so this year is certainly going to be close. And me staying at Force India all year and starting from the back of the grid at every race. Certainly not going to be easy, but I'll do my best. Constructors then, falling down now, Force India is, understandably, when I'm not scoring quite so highly. And Duresta isn't scoring at all. 20 points off McLaren, the current leaders. So that's a bit of this video then. I'll try and do, like I said, probably at least one video a week of career. Just try and get it all done before the release of F1 2030 if I can. And I thank you for watching.